Planned Parenthood is a beautiful place that helps people who don't have anywhere else to go. I know people that I went to high school with where like they couldn't talk to their parents about birth control. It's like if you can get birth control from Planned Parenthood instead of having a baby that you don't want to have, it's a beautiful thing. I think people need to be more educated on what they do. Yeah. Because they don't just do abortions. Like they have they they do a lot of other things that are very helpful to people who need to know how to be safe. I went to Planned Parenthood and it gives you so many tools and things that you need like yeah my friends go back home and like they don't have insurance or they didn't have insurance and it's just like such a good tool for people yeah it's important and it's necessary first of all <laughs> abortion slash Planned Parenthood I'm gonna watch this when it's all done and see who the fuck is pro-life uh, for it for it for it for it for it I'm a woman. I feel like all women should be for, like, pro-choice. Damn right. I'm a pro-choice motherfucker. Um, you heard it here. Yeah. I think, like, the biggest point is that, like, pro-choice means, like, it's your choice. That's the misconception. Everyone thinks yeah. if you're pro-choice, you will have an abortion. But it yeah, just right. means that you think a woman should have her mm -hmm. own decisions about her body. I went to Catholic school my whole life, so... It was kind of hard to like be pro-choice because they were always like, no, that's awful. Almost all of my friends are girls and I'm like, if you need that, I'll give you a ride. Like, that's what I'm here for. I'll get you ice cream after, I don't know, oh, but only something cheap. I'm not, we're not going like Ben and Jerry's. Like you can get a scoop at Baskin Robbins, but like I'll drive you. Listen out there, people. Listen to this woman. If you, if a 13 year old gets pregnant with a baby, and she doesn't want to bring that baby into the world, that is her own choice. Preach. It literally doesn't affect your life in any certain situation ever. I hate old white men telling me I can't control my body. That's my biggest pet peeve. Yeah, fuck that. Why does the government care so much about like my uterus or like my tits, you know? That's creepy that you old white guys like care about what I do with my body because it doesn't affect you. If, if men, men could, could get, get pregnant, pregnant, abortion would be legal. Say it again. If, if men... men... But say them. <laughs> I wanted to do that. No matter um, what, I don't think people should push anything onto each other. Yeah, I don't if like... If you want to believe in Jesus, if you want to believe in the flying spaghetti monster, like, that's your deal. I think there's a weird split. Everyone's either, like, really religious or absolutely not religious in any way. Personally, um, I'm my religion is Batman. For me, religion is all about ideology, and Batman teaches us to like be selfless, help others, and he helps the mentally ill because like he sends the people to Arkham Asylum instead of the jail. People get offended sometimes when I say that, but I tell them that like, no, my religion is very inclusive. Like to me, my God is just as real as yours. Like in my writing and rhetoric class, like we've brought up religion in some of the pieces that we've read, and like it'll come up, and there will be people in there who are like, you know, Buddhist and Muslim, and, and we all just, it's a totally even playing field. I'm a Buddhist, and I practice Buddhism, and I'm not one of these, like, white people who says they're Buddhist because they have, like, a Buddha phone case. Most people I talk to are either hardcore atheists or, like, agnostic, but then I do meet a lot of people who are more spiritual. Like they I've met some religious, some people who are yeah. Christian or Jewish, yeah. you know, it's, uh, I've met people I feel like they're a more afraid to talk about it. Like, I took a cultural race media class, and the people that were, that identified with like Catholicism, they just seemed like more afraid to talk about it. I feel like it's really fun to make jokes about Catholicism because it's crazy. It's a ridiculous religion. And I think it's so funny to like talk about it, which like everybody's like, oh, but I think it's funny. You go to Catholic church? Yeah. Are you Catholic? Yeah. Oh my God. My whole, my mom's side of the family is Catholic. Is so they're the, they're the alcoholics, they're all Catholic. See. <laughs> I, like it's like you said, do people talk about religion in art school? And the answer is no. Oftentimes yeah, because like that's the reaction. I'm not accepting of people who are religious and using their religion to um, yeah. hate on people. Because mm -hmm. um, I've seen that my whole life and it's disgusting. If you're using it to yeah. hate on people, then I will disrespect you. Feel the burn. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, if inevitably becomes the nominee, Great choice because Donald Trump is a lizard. That's I right. have a Make America Gay Again hat. Just speak pro Trump the whole time with that like, on. <laughs> like, He's not that bad guy. <laughs> uh, Trump. He's just.
I think it's a bit. Uh, I honestly <laughs> think that Donald Trump is just a big old bit. He's a comedy bit that we're gonna find out. Just it went just too went far. too far. That went too far. Like I've met like girls who want to vote for Donald Trump. It's like, oh, you don't like having rights as a woman? That's. Oh, you want you want a man who hates your whole gender to be your president? Us. I think it's hilarious that Hitler's doing really well in our election right now. Like, I, <laughs> I always wondered how he'd do if he came back. If anyone's gonna write Bernie's name and if he doesn't get the nomination or vice versa, you're fucking dumb. You're gonna split the Democratic vote and the Republicans are gonna win. They say stuff like, oh, I don't want Trump to win. If Trump wins, it's the end of the world. But then they're like, if Hillary gets the nomination, I'm not voting at all, which is like the best way to make sure Trump wins, like no Democrats go vote. Hillary, <laughs> Bernie, people, there's, they can be vicious on Facebook. That doesn't make sense to me, though. I don't get why. I'm always like, I feel like if either one wins the other, the, then the other side will be like, okay. I'm a, a Hillary supporter in this world, and it's a very heavy, like, Columbia is like 98% like pro Sanders. No, it is I not. Feel no, like it I is not. No, it's not. I've run into so many like, whoa, white girls that love Hillary Clinton. Someone told me that I wasn't feminist because I'm not voting for a woman. I was like, I'm gonna go vote for Carly Fiorina if that's the if that's the game we're playing with. That I'm here for you, girl. Thank you. I think this is the time. Okay, we're all here for you. Normally, when people ask me who I'm voting for, I just tell them Barack Obama because that's not a surprise. I love Barack Obama. Honestly, hoping he FDRs this shit and gets a third fucking term. I'll tell you what I did. I've been in the closet about this for a long time because I do not feel comfortable saying this at school. I voted for Hillary Clinton. Do you hear that, Columbia? <laughs> she voted for Hillary. I think you should be able to vote. You should vote for whoever you want. As long as like you have backed up your research and you think that they're the best candidate, vote for whoever you want.